Were you cold? No, I just felt like a fire. It's gloomy out today. Spoken like a true California girl. One day in her life without a little sunshine and she comes in and hides her head under the covers. Yes, like that little hothouse flower that I pretend not to be. I was teasing. I wasn't. What mirror are you looking into? You threw off that uh, helpless, spoiled brat stuff a long time ago. I see a woman who is just that. A woman, not a girl. A woman who is mature, confident. If I am so confident, why do I have so much trouble making up my mind and trusting my judgment? What are you trying to judge? Someone's character. Ah. Maybe it's just as much his fault as yours. There are some people who make it very difficult for us to get to know them. Yes, that is true, but I am guilty of the same thing as Craig is. Kelly, you have to be cautious when you're dealing with someone who's had the kind of life he's had. And if he's holding back from you, maybe it's because there's nothing inside him to give. I used to believe that, but I don't anymore. As much as I know that he would like for me to, you know, he would like to push me somewhere, I know that he would like really for me to be there on my own accord, and I have to respect him for that. Are you sure? Are you sure this isn't just a game? Oh, don't compare it to Robert, please, Mama. I wasn't at all. I wasn't even thinking of Robert. I was thinking of Craig Hunt. I was thinking about the way he talks, the way he dresses, the way he walks into a room. He's the kind of man, Kelly, who collects trophies. He's the kind of man who needs status symbols to show to the world. And I just don't want you to become his next accessory. It wouldn't be that way. You don't know that. How would you know? There's one way for me to find out. Craig Hunt's room, please. Hey. Thanks for coming by. Hey, you made it sound important. What's up? It's my time here, apparently. You know, if there's one thing I learned in Vegas, it's you gotta know when to fold them. You know, ciao. Yep. Listen, you have a drink with me? Farewell. Call me sentimental, but there's something a little off-putting about saying goodbye to an empty room. But why? I and mean, what made you decide? Well, the decision was sort of made for me. Not Derek. No, no, no. It's nothing to do with the four of you guys. Let's just say I've got an obligation I can't meet. Well, you know, I told you, if you need money... Look, forget it, okay? Thanks. All right, so... When are you leaving? Well, I travel pretty light, you know. I just got one more suitcase to pack, and then... Old acquaintance, brother. <laughs>